it's even ago. So today I'm going to do this makeup look, which is a Cinderella makeup tutorial. I'm using all my new um, Essence Cinderella makeup. So on my eyes I'm using the Cinderella palette. And on my lips I'm using the two lip glosses. And then on my face I'm using the blush and the highlight. And I'm also using a bunch of my other Essence makeup plus um, some other random makeup thrown in here. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the makeup. So this is what it looks like. So I'm actually also wearing one of the Cinderella nail polishes on my nails and actually on my toenails as well. So the color I'm wearing is this one. It's called Prince Charming. And I hope you guys can see my nails. Um, I have on some little Cinderella um, nail stickers. So I used these nail stickers. These are also from Essence. And the color on my ring fingers is this one. It's called the Glass Slipper. Or again also from Essence. I hope you guys can see my thumbs. On here I have um, the princess, um, you know, Cinderella and the prince. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, so here comes the tutorial. So as my primer, I'm going to use my Essence All About Matte Face Primer. So I'm rubbing it between my fingers and then I'll just go ahead and apply it all over. Then I'm using the matching foundation. This is the All About Matte foundation in the color 10. And this is a very nice um, medium coverage matte finish foundation from the drugstore. So as always, I use my dampened sponge. And you can build this foundation up if you want more coverage. So that's just what I'm doing now. And then when I blend out the second layer, I just tap very lightly so that I get the, you know, the best coverage that I can possibly get. And then I blend the rest down my neck just to make sure everything matches. Then I use MAC Concealer in NC15 and I'm applying it with a flat concealer brush from Hill. And I'm also going to apply it on the upper eyelid. And this is kind of going to be the base for the eyeshadows. And then I apply a little bit on my forehead. Like this. And I apply it down my nose. And on the cupid's bow. And on the chin. And I use my Beauty Blender dupe from, from Born Pretty Store. And this is what I use to blend out the concealer. So to set my concealer, I'm going to use my white powder from Born Pretty Store together with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. So I'll just go ahead and set that. The only concealer I'm not going to set is the one on my eyelid because as I said, it's going to be our base. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Catrice Prime and Fine Powder. And if you have foundation on your neck, remember to powder on your neck as well. So I'm just going to quickly remove the foundation and powder off of my lips. And I'm going to use my Coca-Cola um, Lip Smacker. It smells and tastes so delicious. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Pressed Powder in the color Honey. It's just, you know, a few shades darker than my skin tone. And with my fan brush, I go in and contour my nose. And I'm actually going to use the bookmark that my friend Steph got me. And I'm going to use this to carve out my cheekbones. So, just about here. So this just creates like an intense line for your contour, as you can see. And you can go over that and soften it a bit. And I'm doing the same on the other cheek. And then again, just go ahead and blend it out. So I contour up around my hairline as well. And then finally around my jaw. And I just blend it all the way down my neck. This pimple is annoying me, so I'm trying to cover it up some more. 
but I don't know if it's going to work. I have just realized that I have spent the entire time up until now to look at the screen instead of in the camera and I really apologize. But anyways, now I'm going to use my Cinderella blush. It's a beautiful like corally color. It's called So This Is Love. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. bronzing brush to apply this. Hmm, pretty color. So now I'm going to take the Essence Cinderella highlighter. Hmm, pretty. I really like these products so far. Oh, okay. I'm just lightly going to blend this out. Very lightly though. And now I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus just to set all the powders. And this just makes everything look more like skin. So I'm just going to brush through my eyebrow hairs. And I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown. Then I brush out the front of my eyebrows because I want the front to be a bit lighter. So moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm going to use this um, Cinderella palette from Essence. And I'm going to use the pretty highlight color. And I'm just using the sponge tip applicator that comes with the palette to apply this color underneath my brows. And don't worry about blending right now, we're going to do that later. Right now we just want to place the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to highlight in the inner corner and I'm going to kind of blend it up into the highlight on the inner brow bone. Then I'm going to take the purple with a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply this on the outer and inner part of my eyelid. So I'm leaving the middle right here bare of any eyeshadow for now. And then, of course, do the same to the other eye. Then with the other side of this brush, I'm going to pick up the pink. And this is going right in the center. So right between the two purples. And this is just going to give like a highlighting effect. And just make sure you blend the colors together. So with a blending brush, I'm going to take the blue eyeshadow. And this one is by um, Urban Decay and it's just stained, um, so don't worry. And this is going in the crease, so just above um, the purple and pink and just below the highlight. Can you guys hear how much it's raining? It's crazy. And then I take my clean 224 brush from MAC and I blend it out and I go back in and blend. It's important to blend but it's also important not to over blend because if you over blend you will get like a muddy look but I think that's good for now. So then the other crease and it's important to build the color up little by little just so you don't get you know out of control. Don't get out of control. And now with my 224 brush I'm going to take the dark navy and I'm going to apply this in the outer corner. So this is just going to darken the look. Then I'm going to take my Essence <laughs> Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I think like a dramatic eyeliner goes well with this look because the eyeshadows are so soft. So before I do my mascara, I'm going to go through my eyelashes with a lash comb just to get some of that eyeliner out because the eyeliner can make your eyelashes kind of stiff but don't smear it like I just did. Okay, I'm going to clean that up later. So now I'm curling my lashes. 
And the mascara I'm going to use is this one from Born Pretty Store. And I'm just going to apply one thin coat. Um, this is basically just to prep my lashes for falsies. The eyelashes I'm going to use today are the Velour Lashes um, in the style of Carly. And I'm going to try and see if I can squeeze out some lash grip glue. Okay, so I'm going to pop this lash on now. And once I have it on, I'm going to press right at the last band with the other end of my tweezers. So while we wait for the lash glue to dry, we're going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. So I want the lower lash line to be pretty, um, like pretty intense and vibrant. So I'm going to take my NYX, if it's going to focus, <laughs> my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to apply this as my base and I blend it out a little bit. And again, blend it out. With my flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take the last color from the Cinderella eyeshadow palette. It's like a goldy green gray color. And we're just going to pop this right on top of our base. And I love this color. It's so freaking beautiful. I hope you guys can see how pretty it is. And for my inner waterline, I'm going to use this eyeliner from Essence. It's just a brown color. So now I'm going to apply Bottom Lash Mascara. So to finish out the eyes, I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner again and just line my upper left line one more time. And I'm just going to brush through my thick lashes uh, because I did get a little bit of eyeliner on them. So for lip gloss I have two different ones from the Cinderella collection. So I have this more red pinky one and this very light pink color. So I'm going to start out with the red and this is called So This Is Love. Oh they smell delicious. So I'm going to apply like the reddish lip gloss. Um, at the outsides of my lips. They really smell so good. And then I'm going to use the light pink color and I'm going to apply that in the center and just blend it all together. And by the way, the um, light pink lip gloss is called Sing Sweet Nightingale. And you guys, can you believe it? This is actually the finished look. So I'm going to zoom you out and we're going to look at the finished result. Okay, so this is the finished look. So I just put my hair up in a ponytail and um, I put on my earrings and my rings. So if you like this look, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. So um, yeah, take care and bye bye.